Hi, in this video, I will show you how to program a traffic light using the Rogic software. Okay, so the first thing that we need to know are is the connection that we are going to use in order to program this traffic light. So I'm going to open this window over here. So I have these three outputs and the output number one of my CPU of the robot I have the green LED. The output number two, I have connected the yellow LED. And in the output number three, I have connected the red LED. Okay, with this information now, I can program my traffic light. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to suppose that the first light that is going to be um, turned on is gonna be the green light. So I'm gonna take the on chip, and I'm going to put it here below the star. Remember that I know that it's connected to the previous block because there is a line between these two blocks. Okay, so I'm going to open the properties and if you see there are five ports. This is because the CPU of my robot, of the Robot Rob Kit, has five outputs. So in this case, I'm going to select the port number one because it's the green LED that I'm going to program. And I'm going to tell the robot to turn that LED for four seconds. Okay, so after that, I need to tell the robot to blink this same light. So the green, the green light, the green LED is going to be turning off, on, off, on, off, and on to simulate that the green light is about to change into the yellow LED or the yellow light. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the properties of the, you know, the chips and here I, I select the off, the off chip. I'm going to open the properties and I'm going to select that uh, I need to turn off the port one. But remember that it's going to blink. So I'm going to turn of the green LED for 0.5 seconds. And then I'm going to turn it on again because remember, it's going to blink. Okay, I confirm. And I want this LED to be on for 0.7 seconds, okay? But one thing very, very important is that I want this structure to be repeated for three times, by three times. So in order to do it, well, one way is that I can copy this whole structure three times, but I don't want that. I mean, I want efficiency in, me, in my program. So I'm going to select in the while section, I'm going to select the loop. So in the loop uh, chip, in the loop command, I'm going to open the properties and I'm going to select three times. Loop count number three, and I click confirm. And this structure that I have here, I'm just going to move it, and I'm gonna put it between this little rectangle and this little rectangle. So that means that everything that I have programmed between these two rectangles is gonna be repeated the number of times that I uh, click here. Okay, after that, I want to turn on the green LED, but it is very important to see what was the last state of my green LED. If you see, I turn it off for 0.5 seconds, and then I turn it on for 0.7 seconds, and this is going to be repeated three times. So the last state of my green LED is going to be on. So that means that I need before to before I um I turn on the yellow LED, I need to turn off the green LED. So I select off. I and I tell that I'm going to turn off the green LED. Okay, now the yellow LED. Remember this one? It says that the yellow LED is in the output number two. So I'm gonna turn on the output number two. And I want this to be on for just one second.
because it's just the transition between green and red. After that one second, I want this to be, uh, I want to turn off the yellow LED. So I select this and I select the port number two, confirm. And after this, I need to turn on the red light or the red LED. And that one is connected here in the output number three. So I go here and I select the on chip. I select the port three, that is the red light. And I want this red light to be on just for three seconds. So I'm going to select the delay command, three seconds. And after that, I'm going to select off and I'm going to select the port number three, that is the red LED. Okay, so this is the program of my traffic light using ROIC software. Now we're going to see the implementation of my program. Here I have my CPU, okay? In the CPU, I have um, different sections. For example, I have this section over here, that is the section for the motors and then the section for the outputs and finally the section for the inputs. I'm gonna turn on the CPU with this button that says here push on and I'm gonna connect the batteries right here. Okay, I have this tree, uh, this cable that is gonna have three wires to uh, different colors. So it is important the color of the wire. So in this case, the black color means zero volts or negative or ground. The red wire means positive or um, five volts. And the yellow, LED, the yellow wire means the signal. So in this case, I have three LEDs that I have them here. So the green, the yellow, and the red. So first I'm gonna connect the wires, um, the cable in the outputs. Now it is very important that to tell you that all the outputs and the inputs have a, a white arrow right over here in the left side. So that means that the black wire must be connected at the left. So I'm gonna connect this one in the output number one, the, red, the black wire is at the left. This one with the same configuration is gonna be the output number two. And this one with the same configuration will be for the output number three. It's very important that the black wire is at the left of the outputs of the CPU. Okay. So the output number one, if you remember, that is the green LED. So I'm gonna connect it here. Now it is important that you can understand that all the LEDs and all the electronic devices have uh, a green, sorry, a white um, plate over here. That is the, the, the right one. So the black wire goes in the white plate. So I'm going to connect it here. So the black wire goes at the right, always at the right of the electronic devices. So I have it here. The output number two is the yellow LED. So remember that the black wire goes to the right. So I'm going to connect it here and the black wire is here at the right of my connection. And finally, the output number three is the red light or the red LED. So I'm going to connect it and the black wire is at the right. Okay, so I'm going to put them here. I'm so sorry for the cables, but I'm going to try to to make a very good. Uh, I'm going to put them here. Well, before I put them in order to test my program, I need to connect the battery case and the battery case goes here 
so that's it so I'm going to arrange the lights before before I test my program so this one goes right here so okay just like that so when I hit this button that the LED of the CPU is going to turn on so that means that um, uh, in auto is going to run the program so let's do it so I have my green LED now it's blinking the yellow LED turns on and finally the red LED and that's it guys that is the implementation of my program of the traffic light hope you like it and stay tuned for my video for more videos goodbye